Hello uh, guys and uh, welcome in a uh, new NVIDIA GeForce Experience uh, driver update. Uh, we see the logo here. We have uh, a uh, yellow uh, exclamation mark and this means we have a, a new driver uh, ready to be uh, downloaded and installed. So let's double click it. And right here you can see um, as of uh, 28 February uh, 2020 we, there is a new uh, version, the uh, 442.50. It was released on the 27th of February. Uh, click download. right now we'll be almost there so it's always uh, not just recommended but mandatory to update all your drivers especially the uh, video uh, ones because from my uh, past experience I uh, saw that every time there was a new version uh, available if I would have not installed it the PC would uh, would crash so now it's downloaded let's install it click express installation and be patient uh, here it says it's preparing to install the process will take a few minutes Regarding my experience with the uh, AMD Ryzen 5 3600 and the uh, RTX 2070 Super from MSI, I can tell you that um, I uh, put a stop, an end to the blue screens um, by uh, keeping the system in balanced mode. It's just the way it is in my case. If I uh, overclock it in any way automatically, um, so not manually, um, the the PC it will be only a matter to, of time until it will freeze or uh, or crash, giving me a blue screen or simply um, a frozen PC. Okay, so. Yeah, uh, the inconvenience of uh, desktop recording with the uh, NVIDIA GeForce experience while updating it is that when <laughs> you update to the new driver, it will stop the recording. But um, as you'll see, the, uh, the new drivers have been uh, updated and uh, so installed. Right here we see the version 442.50. Checking for updates again, you have the latest GeForce Game Ready driver. So this was it. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by. I wish you all the best and I will catch you in the next one.